Hey, first grade friends, welcome back. And we are working on our informative paragraph that's going to teach our reader at least two reasons why heading a soccer ball is dangerous. So we're reading an informational or nonfiction text called Kick It, Don't Head It. And we've learned a few reasons why it's not a good idea to use your head when you are playing soccer or really any sport. And we took a, a look at our second paragraph and we found a couple of reasons. You'll notice that we underlined those reasons um, in blue because they're also key details. It says many children are hurt every year while playing soccer. Heading the ball can hurt a soccer player's brain. That's one reason. Heading the ball is gonna hurt your brain. That makes it dangerous. We don't wanna do it. Heading the ball can cause pain, reason number two, and loss of memory, reason number three. So not only can it hurt your brain, it can cause pain or actually physically hurt. And it can also lead to memory loss where you can't remember things. Those are all problems and reasons why heading a ball is dangerous. So we wanna go back to our paragraph and you'll notice we drew our picture showing or teaching our reader that heading a soccer ball is bad news, it's dangerous. Then yesterday we spent some time writing our topic sentence, that first sentence in our paragraph to tell our reader what we'll teach them. We said, I will teach you why heading a soccer ball is dangerous. Well, now I have to support that with some facts. I gotta teach them some facts. You'll notice that I'm gonna start my next sentence with one fact is, and then I'll give a reason why this is bad, why heading the soccer ball is bad, or a fact. And then I'm gonna use another fact is, and pick up another fact from our text to teach my reader another reason or another fact about why heading our soccer ball is bad. So here's my first fact. One fact is, that heading can hurt your brain. I got that straight from my text. It says, heading the ball can hurt a soccer player's brain. Now notice friends, I didn't copy these words completely. I just picked up some of the words I needed and put them into a new sentence. Now I wanna give another fact. I need two or three facts here. Here's my second fact. Another fact is that heading the ball Hmm, let's go back to our text. Well, we have another sentence that gives us some facts. Heading the ball can cause pain and loss of memory. Ooh, that's bad. Losing your memory, you can't remember what's happening. I think I wanna teach my reader that. I think that's something important they need to know. So I'm gonna come back to my paragraph and I wanna tell them another fact is that heading the ball can cause memory loss, yikes, period at the end. Now I can go back and fill that in. Can, C-A-N spells can, cause. Man, I don't remember how to spell cause, but I bet you if I go back into my text, I can find it. Heading the ball can cause, oh, it's right here. I'm gonna stick my finger on it while I write it. Help me spell it, friends. C A U S E can cause. Another fact is that heading the ball can cause, I want to say memory loss. Now I can stretch out those words. I also see that it says loss of memory right here in my text. So I can snag this word memory, M E M O R Y. M-E-M-O-R-Y, M-E-M-O-R-Y, memory and loss, loss, loss. Oh, look at that double S, friends. What phonics rule does that remind you of? If you said the floss rule, you're absolutely correct. We double our F, double our L, double our S, double our Z after a short vowel and a one syllable word, loss, loss. Perfect. I just taught my reader two facts. If I wanna push myself and give them a third fact, I could. Let's reread to make sure this sounds right and makes sense. Here's our picture as well. I will teach you why heading a soccer ball is dangerous. One fact is that heading can hurt your brain. 
Another fact is that heading the ball can cause memory loss. Now that I've taught my reader friends two facts about heading the ball and why it's dangerous, tomorrow I'll be ready to finish up my paragraph with a closing sentence. But right now, go ahead and go back into your text to find at least two facts about why heading a soccer ball is dangerous.